we want to write cosine of the quantity x plus 5 pi divided by 6 using sine x and cosine x. To do this, we'll be using the sum of difference identity for a cosine given here below. Where a is equal to x and b is equal to 5 pi divided by 6. Also notice we have x plus 5 pi divided by 6. So if we use the plus sign here, notice how we'll use the subtraction sign here on the right. So cosine of x plus 5 pi divided by 6 is equal to cosine a times cosine b, which would be cosine x times cosine 5 pi divided by 6. And then again, because we have a plus sign here, we'll have a subtraction sign here, so minus sine a times sine b, which would be sine x times sine 5 pi divided by 6. And now we need to evaluate cosine 5 pi divided by 6 and sine 5 pi divided by 6. We'll do this both using a reference triangle as well as using the unit circle. If we're going to use a reference triangle, we want to recognize that 5 pi divided by 6 would be equal to 150 degrees. So we start here on the positive x-axis and rotate counterclockwise 150 degrees. to here, so this would be our reference triangle where the reference angle would be 30 degrees. So we have a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, so we should recognize that the short leg would be 1, the hypotenuse would be 2, the remaining leg would be square root 3, but because we're in the second quadrant where x is negative, this would be negative square root 3. Therefore, cosine 5 pi divided by 6 using a reference triangle would be the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be negative square root 3 divided by 2. So this first product would be negative square root 3 divided by 2 times cosine x, and then we'd have minus for sine 5 pi divided by 6 using a reference triangle, we'd have the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which would be 1 divided by 2, or 1 half. So we'd have minus 1 half times sine x. And again, we could also find these trig function values using the unit circle. Where on the unit circle, cosine theta is equal to x, and sine theta is equal to y. So here's the terminal side of 5 pi divided by 6. Verifying that cosine 5 pi divided by 6 would be negative square root 3 divided by 2, and sine 5 pi divided by 6 would be equal to positive 1 half. Either way, we have the correct trig function values, and therefore we've written cosine of the quantity x plus 5 pi divided by 6 using sine and cosine. I hope you found this helpful.